Well, back to the ending of the British Super League. I started this series before the Euros, and quite frankly, I can't even be arsed with it. I hate playing FIFA. That's the truth. But anyway, last time out, we had uh, a two-each draw against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We should have got a result there. Then we beat Blackpool 5-2, but this is now with the new results come diving in. So we could beat 3-0 by Arsenal, which is not exactly ideal. We then beat Newcastle. We then beat um, Leeds United 3-1. We then went through in the cup against... I have no idea. I mean, who is that? Lincoln Red Imps or so? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, we went through in the cup, so that's not a bad result. Then we lost 3-2 to West Ham. Drew two each with Celtic, which is uh, not ideal, you know. Then we beat Aberdeen 3-0. Then we drew one each with Leicester. So, I mean, so far it's no bad. Then we get knocked at the cup by uh, Southampton, which, I mean, I didn't really give two shits about the cup. But then we get beat 3-2 by Aston Villa. We then get beat 3-1 by Spurs. We then draw 0-0 with Burnley. We get beat 2-1 by Man City. We then get beat 2-0 by Liverpool, which you can just kind of see here. We're running down a dream. We then beat Hibs 3-0. Uh, if it wasn't for the, the Scottish teams, would we pick up any points? <laughs> um, Crystal Palace have then got a result um, against us 3-0. We then lose 2-0 to Man United. We then draw one each with Southampton. And then we beat Hibs 5-1. And then we get beat by Liverpool 3-1. And then that is fired us right into January transfer window. But, you know, we'll go ahead and sim... Uh, the commentary game, and then we'll take a quick look where we are at the league here at the halfway point of the season, run about it just after halfway, probably. The way it ends up uh, working. Soon goes recalled by Ammons. Wait, what? How the fuck does that even work? Your current loan policy. Well, how about you go and hang yourself, buddy? I mean, I don't really understand what that's all about. And we've, we actually went and lost 2-1 in the cup against Coventry. Like, Jesus Christ, man. What is that all about? We're currently sitting 15th in the league. We've got youth players terminating contracts left, right, and centre. Like, you know, the Arnold Swartz in there, man. That's just absolute pish. Aberdeen are bottom of the table. We've got Hibs in 19th, which is actually a bit of a shock to me, considering the fact we've pumped Hibs every game. I didn't really expect them to... Um, be doing much but yeah then it's west so we're actually the best at the scottish team so far so far though it's it looks like a two-horse race though between liverpool and manchester city as to who will be uh, the best british team guys but anyway that'll do it for the halfway point we'll sim to the end of the season and see what the crack is there as you see though we lost 2-0 to celtic and a 2 each draw against west ham beat 1-0 by spurs we then went on to beat aston phil i mean how for the simple reason is Hibs and Aberdeen are guaranteed to finish below us. I mean, it means all we need to do is better, do better than one of the other teams, you know, and you've more or less done something. But then we've beat Leeds, we've beat Newcastle, so that's two pretty decent results there, back to back. We've then got Manchester City, it's a narrow defeat there. We then beat Burnley 3 0 away, we then get beat by Chelsea 3 0. And as you can see, we either score or we don't. I mean, when we score, we win, and if we don't score, we obviously get beat. There's no nil-nil draws here. Uh, we get beat 2-0 though by Leicester. We beat Aberdeen. We beat Everton. We then get beat by Arsenal. We get beat by Wolves. We uh, get beat by United. We draw one each with Palace. And then we get beat by Southampton. And that's it, guys. I'm predicting... Well, that's too late. I was going to predict 16th, but it doesn't matter. We'll finish 13th with the magical 40-point tally that everyone says... In this league, oh, that's what you need to stay up. Well, it wasn't enough for Aberdeen, Hibs, or Celtic. They all go down. Um, but I'm actually a bit surprised, like, that Celtic have went down. You know, I mean, I guess it was a bit close at the bottom, but, I mean, Aberdeen, three wins, three draws. It wouldn't even surprise me if all those results were against the... Um, the other teams in the fucking thing. I mean, it's Celtic big city. Well, now we're doing a wee point against Burnley. Celtic beat Hibs 2-0. Um, not an awful lot particularly going on there. But let's take a quick look at our top goal scorers. We've got a squad. Uh, Hub. I mean, there is the team. We did sign Greenwood, which seems about a million years ago. I actually played this. Um, over to Stats. Right, we'll do that. 
Oh, we signed Buffon as well. McGregor, McLaughlin, the nigh appearances between them at Buffon with all them other lands. And, I mean, seven clean sheets and 36. It's no ideal. Bassi in there, Barisic, Goldson, Hollander. I mean, as you can see, like, I mean, there's brilliant any fucking stats here. Danny Finlayson, Jobber, Patterson, only three games. Tav with a decent amount. McCrory, essentially hee haw. Only played seven games. Was he injured or something? Don't get that. Uh, Jordan Jones, Murphy, Joe Rebo, Kamara, Davis, who barely played any. Same with Arfield. Jack Morris played every game. Kelly. Played hee haw, even because he's at Ross County, funny enough. Hadji, Greenwood, Kent, Defoe, Etten, Roof, Merrick. So Etten with the most goals for us. It's a bit surprising. I mean, the fact he's actually played 35 fucking games is a bit surprising in itself, you know? And season. It probably won't come to surprise you, but we're not entirely satisfied. Anyway, I'm not entirely satisfied with this series, man. It started off like. It would have been the greatest thing since sliced bread. Turned out it was more like eating dog shit between two loaves of bread. But anyway, till next time. Peace.